In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get a 3D model that you've downloaded from the web into Unity 3D and this is very similar to the way that we have just done it in Blender if you looked at the previous tutorial. Now there are a lot of websites that you'll find have 3D models for sale. Uh, there's a lot of 3D artists out there who sell their products through these websites but they also provide three uh, free samples of their um, work as well. Uh, one really good website to try is TurboSquid, which is uh, TurboSquid.com. Now you'll have to sign up for an account, which doesn't cost anything unless you buy a model uh, that costs money. So let's have a look for, say, Robot. And you'll see that there's many different robots. Oh, there's one of my favourites. K9. Uh, so let's just download K9. Now you'll see in this download they give you a number of different options of the file type that you might like. Uh, 3DS opens quite nicely in Unity, so I'll grab the 3DS model. and we'll drag that onto the desktop so that I can grab that in Unity. Now if we go back to Unity, just open, this has got our cube from the previous tutorial, we can drag K9 into here, so it's now in the project list and to add it to the scene we can drop it in the hierarchy. Now you can see that K9 is over here if we move to view the selected object, it moves it into the camera view and we can lift him up and uh, turn him around using the different manipulation keys which I might just go through while we've got them now. If you press W it turns into this looking axis where you can move your object in the world space uh, along each, each axis. If you want to move the in freely you grab the center of those ones. If you press the E key it allows you to rotate the object around the different axes like that and you can always press Control Z if you want to go back through the rotations or the movements that you did before and if you press the R key it then puts you into scaling view so that you can scale the model so the center cube, yellow one, scales in all axes and the others just scale along the single axes. Ooh, like that, right. So let's just um, undo all that scaling and move K9 out of the road for a moment and load in another model that I downloaded from TurboSquid. It's a robot. Put the robot in here. Okay, now the robot appears to be in this location, which is extremely small. Move to view. It's now inside the cube, move it above the cube. Okay, here he is. He's very tiny. Uh, now, sometimes, um, depending on the modeling package, your coordinate systems will be different. So, uh, this guy obviously has very, very small coordinate system. To scale him up, you can use the Inspector tab and change the scale. So if we change these to, say, 10, you can now see him. You can also press R and scale him within that sort of environment as well. Okay, and that's how easy it is to get a 3DS model from TurboSquid and uh, put it into Unity, which is a great idea if you uh, don't have a lot of money and you don't have the time to do the modeling to get free models. Just remember that uh, some models are royalty free, which means you can use them uh, for educational purposes, non-commercial purposes, uh, for any sorts of projects, 
as soon as you want to start using them for paid projects and that you need to look at actually purchasing some models um, that may also be royalty free so you only have to pay for them once but read the licenses for any 3D models that you do use in your own products before you start using them.